Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, back in this for today, um, doing something a little bit different with this video. Uh, look back on 2020, um, some things that I'd like to see happen in 2021, and just kind of general state of my photography. Yeah, 2020, what a crazy, crazy year it has been. Um, the, uh, the pandemic with the stay at home orders, you know, I, I'm glad 2020 is done. And like I said, there's going to be some things in one that I'm really looking forward to, but a lot of stuff did go right. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things, gear acquisition that I've gotten this year, um, where I'm hoping to go with this YouTube channel, uh, people I would like to meet up with and that sort of thing. But yeah, so even though, you know, because of this whole COVID craziness, I didn't get to as many places that I'd wanted to this year. But that being said, I do believe that I got some of the best photos I've ever gotten. And I intended to show a couple of this video. Matter of fact, this is uh, my second recording of this video. The first one I did my top 10 photos, but... You know, the, that video just went on forever and ever. It was like 45 minutes long, and I'm thinking, yeah, no one's going to sit through 45 minutes of me just talking about pictures. Uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> not going to happen. I wouldn't want to sit down and watch myself for that long. But like I said, there are a couple of things I wanted to talk about, and um, one of the things that I really kind of pushed me to get out more was late last year, is I jumped into this whole rooftop tent craze. Now, it was something that I've been thinking about purchasing for a while because at the time I'm like, you know, this is going to allow me to get um, to the locations that, you know, whatever time I want, I can camp out, I can be close to the action. And by and large, that's really what happened. I was, uh, I, I built up my vehicle f for the past couple years to take me to places where I want to go, you know. As you've seen on my channel, I drive the uh, Toyota 4Runner, and I did put a lift on it, just about an inch and a half, a little bit bigger tires, and that got me to a lot of locations that, you know, other vehicles may have just struggled with, but the Toyota did great, and for a long time, uh, before I really even got serious into photography, I would just sleep in the back of my truck and that would work. But ever since I got that rooftop tent, man, that's that's been a game changer for me. Sleeping in a heated rooftop tent watching Rick and Morty. Yeah, this is camping. So I, I didn't buy it specifically for photography, even though that was in my mind, but I also enjoy, you know, hunting and fishing and just general um, camping outdoors and so that's what kind of pushed me over the edge is because I can use it for so many other things as far as overlanding type um, situations you know I love watching overlanding videos Jason um, from the Primal Outdoors channel Edward Chin has his channel Last Line of Defense and I love those watching those guys but you know th they do even though they do some photography, they just different lifestyle. I just wanted to be able to, you know, take a sunset shot, sleep on location, be able to get up early in the morning without having to drive a couple hours. And by and large, it's worked out pretty, pretty great. But this is the year that I got into YouTube. Now, I started a YouTube channel like everybody else. I wanted to try to get my name out there. You know, as just trying to spread my work over social media, as of course I'm on Instagram. I do have my own website, Flickr. All those are great, but I need to kind of hit everything because I do plan on this year going live and selling prints. Um, it, I actually planned on doing it this past October, but because of COVID and everything else, it just wasn't the right time for me to start with that. But new year, hopefully things are going to be a bit better. Um, I really hope. But in that interim, you know, 
I started off with just one YouTube video and I shot it off with I shot it with my cell phone and I shot it in the vertical position because I intended it just to be a uh, one of those Instagram reels so but when I got home I started looking at all of the footage that I got I'm like oh you know I, I could probably do this for a 15 minute video or so it actually only ended up being in about six minutes but I, I really enjoyed the process, so that was just kind of something to keep in my mind. And what I did was I actually went out to Walmart and just bought one of those really cheap tripod stands for cell phones. And I did a couple more videos like that. And I started to already reach the limitation of what a cell phone can do. Now, the video was pretty good. I'll admit that, but it wasn't quite the way it, it didn't look quite as professional as I wanted to and the audio was it just not great especially if there's any wind about it uh, made talking to the video uh, very hard in some cases so after a couple of times you know just using the cheap equipment I decided to go ahead you know if this is going to be something that I want to continue doing I've got to have better gear and so I ended up going out and getting the Nikon Z50. Now, the camera has been absolutely great. There's a couple of things I wish could have uh, been implemented better. That screen, for the first part, is definitely it because I wish it flipped out to the side instead of the bottom. It'd make changing batteries and memory cards a lot easier. But, you know, it is what it is. And I really enjoy the quality. And I hope that you guys have seen a jump in quality over the past couple videos that I put out. But all of these things, you know, the rooftop tent, the new tripods, the new vlogging camera, it was really just aimed at helping me become a better photographer because I eventually got into the mindset, well, if I want to continue doing these videos, I have to be able to show at least in my mind, I had to be able to show fo uh, photos that would be worthy of seeing, you know. I didn't want to just become another YouTuber um, that does the tips and tricks and stuff like that. And um, I don't want to become the YouTuber that is always trying to sell you something. Yes, eventually I am going to be selling prints. And yes, eventually I will be doing workshops, but... I recognize that I really need to build up my audience first and that all that stuff will come later down the line and in good time. But for now, you know, I think I go on some pretty cool adventures. You know, I love snowshoeing. I love camping out in wintertime. And then for tonight, it's already about 25 degrees out. Wintertime is definitely my favorite time of year and I just always wanted to be able to document that and that's something that I am going to continue to do now with that you know I had to learn you know proper videography proper sound engineering and <laughs> that, I'll admit that stuff is um, th those are things that I'm still struggling with I'm always trying to get better audio I'm always trying to you know get better in how I shoot videos, but I think it is coming together more and more. Everything is geared just to try to make myself a better photographer. And I think by and large it has. So there's a couple of things I would love to see happen in 2021. Now, the biggest thing is I need to get out more. There was a time in the summer for me, it was just a complete lull. Um, here in Eastern Washington, everything gets dried. It gets, um, everything is almost a uniform color of yellow and brown. And while it can be pretty, it, it, uh, it gets very monotonous. Now, I chose mostly in the summertime to stick around my uh, immediate location. You know, we were under the lockdown. Uh, we were under those stay-at-home orders. And while I would have loved to go, uh, go visit some of these national parks. I mean, you guys probably seen on the news, just everything became so crowded so quick and there were so many people 
going out that these national parks and these national forests, you know, they, they just couldn't handle that amount of foot traffic. And the t few times that I did go out, you know, I spent more time picking up trash than anything else. And it was really sad. So I'm hoping in 2021, I'm going to be able to get to some of these locations that I've been planning to for a while. But, you know, we'll just have to see. I think things are coming better. Um, but only time will tell. Also this year, what I really want to do, and I alluded to this a little bit earlier, is I want to start selling prints, which means I need to incorporate as a business. Now, this has been something on my mind for quite a while. And like I said, it was supposed to happen last October, but didn't. But this year, it is definitely going to be a focus of mine. Um, and with that, I'm going to have to be purchasing new equipment. Now, I'm a Nikon shooter. I do like the Nikons. I think they take superb photos. And I've been contemplating going ahead and jumping ship to the Z system. But right now I'm shooting with a Nikon D850 and it is just a wonderful camera. And, you know, I don't know, should I be upgrading my lenses? I'm, I have a mixture of Tamron lenses, the G2 series. I got some Nikkor lenses, the 200 to 500, the 85 millimeter, the 14 to 24, which is just brilliant lens. But I'm kind of at a point now, do I want to invest in the full Nikkor lenses for the D850 and shoot on that for a couple more years? Or should I get the Z7 II and just start going with that? You know, I don't know. I already got one Z system mount. That's, you know, again with the Z50 there that I'm filling with. But a lot of decisions. I'm also hoping uh, to meet up with some friends that I've met over on Instagram. You know, I have met some amazing people through Instagram. Case in point, last year when I went back to Michigan for a couple of weeks in August, one of the very few trips that I did do, um, I had to go back for some family obligations. I ended up meeting with another amazing photographer, David Sargent. I'll put his uh, Instagram link up right here. And he invited me up to sh uh, near the Charlevoix area and we shot the Perseoid meteor showers, I believe. It may have been a Gemini's, but it could have been a Perseoid. I'm not sure. So we met up together at two in the morning. You know, I had to drive four and a half hours and we had an absolute blast. And that's something that I would just absolutely love to do in the coming future. There's some great people, like I said, that I've met on Instagram, you know, true nature photographers that's all they that's all they care about just going out and having fun and hopefully getting some great photos along the journey but it's almost like the photos don't matter as much as having fun with the process and i've always kind of been of that mentality of just having fun with the process now another thing i do plan on purchasing this year is a new printer now i've been printing with the canon pro 100 for a couple years and for an intro photography printer you know something that's just dedicated to print photos it, it has done brilliantly but you know it's limited on size that and the canon pro 10 the 13s by 19s is as large as you can go and usually that's pretty good, but you know, I'm shooting with a D850. I got 45 megapixels to work with. And even if I wasn't, you know, these all these new 24 megapixel full frames, the these crop sensors are just producing such sharp images that you can get up to these 16 by 20s. And so I'm looking at purchasing a Canon Pro 100. But I'm also kind of thinking maybe getting the 2100, just going right to roll photography, uh, roll printing. I don't know. Um, it's something I'm kind of wrestling with. Obviously, the Pro 1000 is less expensive, but I just I, I chomp at the bits at seeing how large I can print my photos. I've done a couple through Bay Photos, um, some 24 by 36 and above uh, metal prints, and they just from single images no enlargements no upscales they're just tacked sharp and i just i've always enjoyed the printing process and to me it's been like this is the culmination of my effort from going out to the field 
getting set up, getting the shot, getting wet, getting cold, being generally miserable out in the field and coming home, going through the processing, which is not a process I enjoy all that much, I'll be honest with you. But when you feel that print in your hand, it's just like, wow, this is the physical result of my labors. And yeah, to me, it's just, it's the best part of photography um, is to be able to print your own photos. And, you know, I want to be able to sell my work. So yeah, just kind of food for thought. I was going to do a 10 best, um, 10 best photo here. But like I said, that video was way too long. So Next week, I'm going to come back and we'll go through the 10 best because, like I said earlier this year, I have gotten some of the best photos that I have personally ever taken. And these are photos that I am just absolutely proud of and I, I can't wait to offer them to the public. So until next week, uh, thanks for kind of coming along in this week's video. It's a little bit different, but... Besides everything else, the weather has just been oh horrible. We did get some snow a couple of weeks ago for one day, but it snowed too heavy to really do anything about. And then the very next day, it started raining. It's just been raining here ever since. So hopefully I can get back out soon. But until then, well, you know, I continue to appreciate everybody's support. If you can go ahead and give me a like, a share, a comment, you know, my YouTube is small, but these metrics do matter. So I ask you just, hey, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And until next time, we'll catch you out there.